Hello everyone, today's build is centered around the Titan, the Teraba, and the Peacekeepers. After the recent TWAB stating that Orbs of Light, or Orbs of Power, will no longer be generated from Masterworks, but instead mods put on your armor, that allows us to be able to use Teraba to spawn Orbs of Power. So, based on this, I decided to make a build. Starting with the subclass, I'm going to be using Bottom Tree Hammers for the Sunspots. Of course, the exotic weapon we're using will be the Teraba. The exotic armor piece doesn't super matter, but since it's a SMG, I decided to go with the Peacekeepers. It'll reload stowed SMGs and allow me to ready them instantly. It also improves my handling with SMGs and my movement speed. Now going over the mods, I'm running Elemental Armaments. When I defeat combatants with final blows with a damage type that matches my subclass, I spawn Elemental Wells that match the subclass. I'm also running two submachine gun loaders. To pair with Elemental Armaments, I have Font of Might. When I pick up an elemental well that matches my subclass, I get a boost for weapon damage that matches the subclass. Next, I'm running Swift Charge. I become charged with light by rapidly defeating combatants with an SMG. To go with that perk, I'm running High Energy Fire, so when I'm charged with light, I gain a bonus to weapon damage. Finally, for now, I'm running Powerful Friends, just to give me more mobility for even stats. But, once the update comes out where Terrible will be able to spawn Orbs of Light, you can run Taking Charge as another way to become Charged with Light. Now going over how the build works, first thing you'll notice is when I sprint, if I swap my SMG, my FOV will increase. That's because I actually get a movement speed buff with an SMG equipped. When rapidly defeating combatants, eventually, I get Charged with Light, meaning I'll do more damage the next time I attack something. By rapidly defeating combatants, I also have a chance to spawn an elemental well. This gives me a 10 second damage buff for solar weapons. Now on to some damage testing. For gameplay, I'm going to show some clips from the Vault of Glass. Since the SMG can't stun any champions, it's not super great in Lost Sectors. 